Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 134. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. So I know I've said this on stream already, but this is a new video and this is the perfect time to say it. This is right at the start. Quick public service announcement. If you have the Rally DLC for Horizon 1, please let me know. I I'm willing to do game share and deal <laughs> oh that's brilliant I just I'm so disappointed because I have I bought the Storm Island DLC I bought all the Horizon 3 DLC Horizon 4 is going to be delisted soon. I'm going to be buying it for a second time because I want it on Steam. Horizon 5 I've got on Steam. I don't actually have it on Xbox. And I don't have any intention of buying it on Xbox because I don't want to play it on Xbox. But Horizon 5 have all the DLC and everything. It'd just be so uh, annoying if I couldn't do it and couldn't play it. The Rally DLC, that is for uh, Horizon 1. Because that would be awesome to play. The thing is with Xbox, because it's an Xbox One game, like, it's, it's backwards compatible with the Xbox One, I think game sharing actually works with it. I don't think game sharing worked on 360. Um, so if I was doing it off the 360, then yeah, I probably wouldn't be able to do like a game share thing. I'd probably have to use someone's account. But um, I think game sharing would actually work with um, backwards compat. So I literally need someone's account that I can just sign into. Download the DLC, even set as home Xbox for a month or so while I complete the DLC. Just play through it and yeah. I just so want to have that as part of my part of my playthrough. Oh, that sucks, man. Yeah, I'm, I kind of knew when I was starting this playthrough that I would end up resorting to, uh, what's it called? Game sharing, but I would like to have the DLC of my own, to be perfectly honest. Alex! <laughs> Alex has done it as well. <laughs> Every time... A <laughs> moderator comes in here. They're like, oh, I need to see what this button does. And then accidentally just fucking bans everyone. <laughs> oh, it's fucking hilarious. Uh, turn that off. There we go. <laughs> fucking idiot, Alex. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. How are you today, Alex? Hopefully having a good day. Did you like my meme? 
<laughs> I can't show it on stream. I'm sorry, chat. I, I can't show you it, but it was funny. <laughs> uh, it's one of those um, you've been framed moments kind of thing. But it can't be shown on Twitch. <laughs> Bring my dog, God. Oh, no. No. I'd probably cry. <laughs> I'll be honest. It looks painful. It looks fucking painful. Do 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 do. I I I wouldn't recommend traveling on a train with one of those though. <laughs> I just wouldn't. <laughs> that would go horribly wrong. No. <laughs> you might be tempted to, but I don't recommend it. Uh, for the fuck's sake, man. Ah, oh, and I've been rammed in the ass. That's what she said. <laughs> right, let's see if we can do that without... ...understeering like mad. Yeah, so we're looking for... ...seeing if we can get that rally DLC, but... If it's not possible, like, I'm literally going to give myself all the way up until the day it comes out. Like, I will start Falls of Motorsport 5 after I finish Horizon 1. And if the DLC turns up, like, the day before um, Horizon 1's due to finish, I will start, m like, I will mass record the shit out of it just to get... Um, Forza Horizon 1 Rally into the into the playthrough. Because I really want to do it. really want to play it. But yeah, Horizon 1 will hopefully have the Rally DLC. Horizon 2 will have Storm Island. Horizon 3 will have Blizzard Mountain and Hot Wheels. So, that's going to be awesome. Uh, Horizon 4 will have uh, Fortune Island and... Something else. What was the other one? Lego Speed Champions. And then we'll have Lego Hot Wheels. Uh, Lego Hot Wheels? Fucking out. Imagine that crossover. That would be mental. Um, Forza Horizon 5. And then we'll do the Hot Wheels DLC for Horizon 5. Uh, along with whatever the main DLC. Because... Basically, Forza, for the past two games, have done, like, a half ass DLC, like a side DLC, something small, and then they do their big extravagant DLC. So the Hot Wheels for Horizon 3 was their extravagant, while the sort of side meh DLC was Blizzard Mountain, even though I preferred Blizzard Mountain, I thought it was awesome. I loved Blizzard Mountain, it was fucking awesome. So, very much looking forward to that one. But, Horizon 4, obviously Fortune Island was their sort of half ass side one, and then their main DLC was the Lego one. This time, the side one has been one that they've done before, so it almost feels like a main DLC, but... It is just their one that they've reused assets and just done a new thing. Um, which I think was a good idea from them because it almost feels like we're going to have two main DLCs. I just hope the next one is like something new. Because as long as the next DLC for Horizon 5 is something new, then it, I think it makes up for it. That would be quite nice. Um... Imagine if they do Horizon 5, Tokyo. They just go to Tokyo for the DLC. I think a lot of people would be pissed off, though, because they'd be like, well, why is the main game not in Tokyo? We all wanted that. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe that's a bad idea, suggesting that.
Nyom. Nyom. Madman. So the races have been quite, quite a bit shorter in this championship, which is kind of good because I really can't be arsed streaming for four hours today. I wanted to cut a bit shorter. Nice. Whoop. That was close. That was very close. Did not like that at all. Thank you very much. Please go jog on. It's like eating fucking chalk. what I imagine eating chalk is. I am literally bitten down on a rock stick of chalk. Mmm, <laughs> blue chalk. <laughs> mm. That's definitely something that's been on my strange addiction. I like eating couches. Mmm. I like... I don't know. <laughs> There's some dumb shit on my strange addiction, so... Mmm, I like eating chalk. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Mad world. Oh, I've rammed right into his ass there. That's uh, not ideal, and we have a little bit of... Um... Oh, that's not even a little bit. That's a lot of searing damage. And I now have a very angry yellow Ferrari on my tail. To be fair though, this is actually kind of helping out with that first corner. The only thing is it doesn't really help out with this section that much. But it's not too bad, it's not too intrusive or making it too much of a challenge.
Not bad. Alright, we got uh, a couple more laps to go. Five more. Come on, there we go, very nice. Fucking hell. Very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Hello, sexy banana. We got uh, one more Camino via de Montserrat race after this as well. Oh, that yellow Ferrari's right on my tail. Fuck now. That yellow one, I don't know what's in it. But it must have, like, fucking rocket fuel. fuck's sake. Come on. We got this. It's crazy just how, like, you basically can just rub the entire paintwork off of the fucking car. Mental the amount of paint that comes off when you damage it. Especially with this one, like, I don't know what car it was I was using. I think it was either in the last stream or the stream before.
Come on. I'm really trying to focus because I've basically shot myself in the foot with this one. Nice. We're getting there. Fucking hell, come on. Oh, this is stressful. I know the car, there's some distance, but it's one mistake like that. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Right. We've got one more race in this championship. And then we got six more races to do after that. Well, who? Jamino Valle de Montserrat. We're back in Spain. I'm pretty sure it's Spanish. I do like how this is a Ferrari race car, but there's actual colours to it. There's a white one, there's a black one, there's a blue one, there's a red one, there's a yellow one. Like, it's good to see that there's variety in the colours of this car. I totally would have picked a yellow one. But I didn't. So, fuck. You see how that car just went on two wheels? Oh! Oh, I tried to get rid of the yellow Ferrari. Take him out early. We're in sixth place, and oh, we've hit the grass, which has basically dragged our tire in. As soon as you hit that grass, it is... Well, it slows down the inside wheels. Nice. Hans! Hello there, governor. How are you today, Hans? Welcome to the stream. Do -do -do. How's a uh, snow runner? I just noticed you got a hashtag 6969 tag on Discord. <laughs> I do, but it won't be staying there long. I'm cancelling my Discord Nitro because there's literally no point in having it anymore. Like, Discord has a really cheap version for like 250 that gives you basically. It gives you a 50 megabyte upload limit. And pretty much every photo that I ever upload is... It's more than the minimum requirement for Discord. But it's never any bigger than 50. 
And I mean, I, I'm not really too fussed about, like, custom stuff. Like, the custom tag doesn't really bother me too much. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with the cheaper Discord Nitro option. I mean, I'm pretty sure it still lets you use your custom emojis. Like, use emojis anywhere. And even if it doesn't, it doesn't really bother me that much. Because the only emoji I ever use is facepalm. That's literally the only time I use an emoji because, like, it's when someone says, has said something so dumb. I just cannot be bothered to be like, no, this is the right answer. I just go facepalm and just leave the message at that. It's not, I don't think. I think that is a nitro feature. You can only use emojis in their respective servers. Um, yeah. Unless you have nitro. Yeah, it might, it might be a basic nitro feature. But yeah, I think I'm going to downgrade from what I've got. Like, the server profiles are nice, but I'd much rather, you know, like, when it comes to server profiles, you can just rename yourself as a minimum, and that's sort of good enough for me. This is going to be a really short race, about nine minutes long. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, so I'll probably move over to, like, basic Nitro. Because that's the two things I actually like about Nitro, is emojis anywhere and fucking higher upload limit, so... If I can get that for like a quarter of the price, because it's it's like two forty nine now, so for a quarter of the price, worth it. Fucking out. Okay. Nice. Need my music back. My speaker died. And I haven't got a charger for it at the moment. Because the cable's pretty much behind my bed can't be asked to grab it, so fuck. Dun dun dun.
Fucking hell. What have they done? See, this is why Forza is in such a mess, because they're too focused on doing, like, limited time events, rather than actually, like, adding content. You can't just, at, like, spend half your development time making a fucking limited time event, and then expect the game to be good. No. You have to actually work on the core game. Stupid developers. You plunkers. Very nice. And there we go. Recycled first Christmas stuff, but there are less props and minimal unimportant things being tweaked. Oh, fair enough. I mean, at least they're recycling the old stuff for that. But they could have just, you know, not did it in the first place. Especially is the fact that they did it when the game was in a broken state, you know. Just a suggestion. <laughs> Just a slight suggestion. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.